Hi everyone, uh, here's a review of this uh, Inti uh, negative film scanner. Um, it's quite simple, there's just a button and a power LED. It's opening and it plugs into USB into your computer. And there's a small piece of software you need to install as well. It comes with a negative film slide and projector slide. I don't have projector slides, so you can ignore that. It also comes with a little cleaning brush. So the only reason you're going to buy one of these is if you got old film that you want to digitize. So I got lots of uh, old 35 mil uh, negatives that are in a box and don't see the light of day. And rather than carting around loads of actual hard copies, it'd be good to digitize them so you never lose them and they won't fade. So what you do is you take your negative and you place it into the holder, like so, preferably in a white roll around, and make sure your hands are clean. Close it, and then just push it through. And then uh, there's a piece of software, I can show you in a second, where um, as you push the film through, you will press the uh, copy button, and it will take a scan of the negative. Okay, so let's go to the screen now. Okay, so here's the program installed. And once you turn it on, you can select negative slide or black and white, uh, standard or interpolated. And when you put the slide in, you can see that the negative appears. So you can just push it through and you can get to the different images. And once you get it centered properly, okay, there you go you can click the scan button here and it will take the image uh, you can set the color adjustments here but to be honest um, if you're doing this you probably can use Photoshop as well so you probably wouldn't do the settings here and you probably need to clean up um, sharpening it as well in Photoshop but like um, this is just for the scanning you can always take an interpolated one um, I'm not sure what the difference is because the difference is minimal and um, I think you can probably um, again do it in Photoshop you can do stuff like mirror it rotate it if you need to and you shouldn't really need to I think you can change the uh, folder location here and once you've actually taken a scan you can just click save so the program is very very simple and uh, you can just click through and scan all your negatives um, I guess the process is going to be take quite laborious if you're going to have like thousands of negatives. But um, I guess if you do one a day, after a year, you should have done them all. Um, but it's very simple. Works very well for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.